Love is a many splintered thing. Love is a many splintered thing is the twelfth episode of the twenty fourth season of the American animated television series The Simpsons. It originally aired on the Fox Network in the United States on February 10, 2013, as a Valentine's Day themed episode, the name being a take on Love is a many splendored. This episode was dedicated to Elizabeth Taylor who voiced Maggie Simpson in the season 4 episode Lisa's first word and appeared as herself in Krusty Gets Cancelled from the same season. Plot Narrating the episode, Bart looks back upon his failures with girls, particularly Mary Spuckler. At Springfield Elementary School, Bart realizes that Mary has returned to Springfield and has been welcomed back to her family after the events of Moonshine River. Though they pursue a relationship, Bart fails to pay enough attention to Mary and is instead focused on video games and other things. Despite Lisa's warnings, Bart continues to take Mary for granted until she tells him that they should take a break. Bart recognizes the expression as a warning sign for a potential breakup. Additionally, she starts showing interest in a prosperous boy from Brazil. Eventually, it becomes clear to Bart that Mary has broken up with him after she sings a breakup song to him over the phone. During an argument between Homer and Marge, Bart takes Homer's side, arguing that men cannot be expected to understand women. In response, Marge tells Homer exactly what she thinks of him, leading to both Bart and Homer being kicked out of the house. The two promptly settle into Brokewood Apartments, an apartment for failed husbands who were kicked out by their wives. Bart and Homer initially become accustomed to their new situation, but the two, along with all of the other husbands, soon realize that they have to win their loves back, which they learn to do by watching British rom-com movies. Taking this into play, Bart, Homer, and the husbands invite Mary Marge and the other wives over to the apartment. It wins the hearts of every woman except for Mary, who has started dating the Brazilian boy. The episode ends with Lisa informing Bart that love is our only defense against the abyss, and afterward, Bart visits a social media site where he sees Mary's relationship status change from married to single, and he sends a message to her reading, I miss you. In a post-credits scene, he receives a video call from Mary newly widowed. Production Benedict Cumberbatch was cast for his role after having a meeting at the same studio where The Simpsons record their voiceovers. After hearing that there was an uncast role, he commented, I said, I hate to muscle in here, guys, but could I record it? Next thing, I'm standing in a room with all those famous voices, Bart, Marge, Homer, Lisa. His two small roles in the episode were not Sherlock-related. Instead, he portrayed the British Prime Minister and Severus Snape in a spoof of Love Actually. Reception Ratings 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 The episode received 2.0 in the 18 minus 49 demographic and was watched by a total of 4.19 million people. This made it the second most watched show on Fox's animation domination lineup that night after Family Guy beating Bob's Burgers, American Dad, and The Cleveland Show. Critical Reception The episode was met with mostly negative reviews, with Robert David Sullivan of the AV Club giving it a D-plus, saying, This is an unusually focused story for The Simpsons, but it's padded out by self-deprecating cameos and perfunctory, Family Guy-style celebrity impressions. Rob H. Dawson of TV Equals said, I just... Cultural references. The episode makes many references to Woody Allen, whose character appears as an advisor to Bart, and Allen's film Annie Hall. The movie that Bart and his girlfriend go to see is La Rigle du Jew. A tardies from the popular British sci-fi show Doctor Who, which Matt Groening is a fan of, appears in the House of Commons, whereupon Alfred Hitchcock steps out and breakdances.